good morning welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's car boot sale haul video um, I'm recording this it's December the 10th I got back from my cruise yesterday I did not want to go to the car boot this morning oh I did not want to go I woke up with a banging headache and I was like I could just pull the duvet back over my head and pretend the world is not there but there will be limited car boots now um, between now and the end of the year I think there's Today's the 10th, there's one next week and I think they're doing one on Christmas Eve which is weird but then they'll probably have two weeks off after that and so I thought I'd better go, i better make the effort and I did find a couple of good things but it's a very small haul again not quite as small as the last one you saw which was blink and you'd miss it but don't get too comfy, don't be, don't get too comfy because you'll be going somewhere else very shortly I've got my empty bag which Molly was just very caref very carefully up and looking in case, I'd, uh, in case I'd left anything of interest in it there was nothing in there Molly, an empty bag darling also I'm really cold I was I woke up this morning and I was absolutely sweltering so I went down and turned all the central heating off thinking oh god it's really really warm and then I come back in from car boot and I'm frozen frozen to the marrow so I'm all bundled up in a cardigan and, and ugh. anyway I did get a couple of good bits I got it's the first thing I bought and it was a, it's a pair of monkey black corduroy trousers with a straight leg they are a size 38, which I'm not sure what that is in real money, but I know it won't fit me. Um, but yeah, they were monkey and she wanted £2 for those. And I thought oh, that was good. And then I noticed that she had a monkey gilet as well. And so I said to her, how much is the monkey gilet? And she looked at it and she said, oh, you can have that for £3. And I thought, oh, that's a bargain. And I handed over my fiver quite cheerfully. And I don't know if this was on there at the car boot sale and I just didn't notice it or whether I've managed to get it on there in my trolley on the way home it's dry it's dry and it looks like paint and there isn't any paint in my trolley as far as I'm aware so I'm not sure what that is whether it was already on there and I didn't get a very good bargain after all because if it's paint then it'd be very difficult to get it off we tried the trusty wet wipe first which is the uh oh no whatever that is that has just brushed straight off interesting I wonder what the heck that was it looked like paint and it isn't paint and it's come straight off so it wasn't broken after all hooray but what it was is an absolute mystery oh, i feel much better about that now i was a bit, bit i was a bit annoyed with myself for having not noticed it not annoyed with the seller because i've i tend to think if the stuff's there and people can look at it then you haven't missold it have you do you know what i mean you can yeah it's my fault if i haven't noticed a flaw is what i'm trying to say but i was annoyed with myself for not noticing it but whatever it is it's just come straight off it wasn't paint after all so yay for that this is a size whatever this is as well small this is a small i should have guessed that because the lady was quite a quite a slender bod but yeah so a monkey black gilet without paint on it for three quid i'm very pleased now that i know it, has, it isn't paint okay i paid three pound for this and it's just going to go into part of nat's christmas present this is bath fizzers it's a lipsy london bath fizzers collection white shimmer bath fizzer which contains apparently apple mandarin peach and freesia and then the gold one is Grapefruit Mandarin, Ylang, Ylang Mugwe, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, M-U-G-U-E-T, Mugwe, and then Musk Amber. And then the pink and gold one is Green Mandarin Cassis, Mugwe Jasmine again with Mugwe, and Musk Patchouli. So there's, that should be £12. Can you see that? I don't know if it's going to focus, but that's a little £12 sticker there. And the lady wanted three quid for that, and I thought that would make a nice little extra for Nat's Christmas. I paid £5 for these, and the guy wanted ten. This particular chap, um, he quite often sells collectibles and stuff, and his prices are always a little bit beyond what I would like to pay for reselling. And that's absolutely fine, obviously. So I picked up these five books and I thought I was... I barely bother looking at his stall because I know that his prices are a bit beyond for me. But because I wanted these for myself, I picked them up and asked him how much. And he went, oh, you can have them for a tenner. And I said, oh, thanks. I went to put them back because ten quid was a bit beyond me. And he went, well, how much would you pay? And I said, well, I'd do a fiver. And he went, oh, go on then. So unusual for this chap he actually did come down on his prices because he usually doesn't budge, budge an inch i've got they're all billy bunter i've got bunter the bad lad which i haven't read i've got bunter does his best which i don't think i've read and then there's billy bunter's big top i definitely haven't read that one billy bunter and the secret enemy i read not very long ago and billy bunter and the man from south america um at least i think i read secret enemy not long ago 
Now the bunch of paperbacks do tend to split down the middle. You can see this one split and the pages have become a little bit loose. But the hardbacks are in nice condition and so I will read those and enjoy them and then I'll sell them on afterwards. I went to Steve's store. I did not do fill a bag because I could not face the bending down. I saw Vanjie in her room. Hi Vanjie. And um, she said to me, you don't look great. I said, oh, no, I don't feel great. Um, and she said, oh, don't bend down. I said, no, I can't. I can't face bending down and rummaging because Steve's stuff, to do fill a bag, you have to rummage in the stuff that's on the floor and I couldn't bear it. But he also has a big table, as I told you guys before. So I did get some stuff off his table. I got a pocket scrabble. Now that is in its box, but it is not unused, which means I will have to count the pieces. Not now, not in front of you guys. You don't want to sit here while I count to 100, do you? But their last, their last Scrabble game is still on there. These are all magnetic and their last game is on there. Somebody used the word quota. I bet they did well for that. Yes, yeah, so I will count the pieces, make sure they're all there. But it's very nice to have found that in its box because although I sold plenty of pocket scrabbles before, the best I've ever managed before is just in that little bag, not in the box as well. I paid £3 to Steve for these four items all together, by the way. So there was the pocket scrabble. There's a set of Jason coasters and they're just farm and animals. Now I used to buy coasters and placemats all the time. And I stopped a while ago. These are all six the same, by the way. They're just six matching ones. I stopped buying them a while ago because they weren't selling very well. But I saw these and I quite liked the design. So I thought I would get those and they're called Barnyard Menagerie. And then I picked up a Wild and Wolf Scrabble mug with the letter F on it. I probably left it a little bit late for listing this because it's the kind of thing that will probably have sold as a Christmas gift. And since we're already on the 10th of December, I might have pushed that a little bit. But you know, it'll still get listed. And then this one, which looks like Emma Bridgewater, but isn't. This is a Brixton Pottery. And it's only a small mug that'll go for about five or something like that. I paid three quid for the four items. The guy that I bought all the job lot of costume jewellery off was there, and he only had this for me today. This was a pound. There was this one as well, but that was in with the pound. And I think this is a very, very ancient chocolate. If it is, look, it says Cadbury Limited Bourneville on the side. It's a very ancient chocolate box. And I don't know if the box itself might be worth listing. It has got a split corner, but the box itself might be worth listing just as a piece of piece of nostalgia it's um it's tired it's tired in the box is a lot of brooches by the way this was a quid this was a quid I don't think there's anything there that is particularly exciting they're all pinned to a very very ancient piece of black velour cloth I don't think there's anything there of any excitement whatsoever but maybe if I see Lex she'll have a look and tell me what she thinks one's got a stone missing but apart, I think most of them are in pretty good nick there's very few very few missing stones that I'm peering at here. This one's got some kind of brown bloop all over it. That needs a nice clean. But yeah, there's only one here that's got a missing stone. I bet you any money, the one that's got a missing stone is the one that's worth anything. And then there was this little individual in a box of its own, but that's actually got no um, no brooch clip on the back. The brooch clip is broken. The pin, the pin is broken on the back of that one. So, so yeah, he wanted quid. He wanted quid for all of them. The filigree one's quite nice. Wouldn't it be lovely if one of them turned out to be solid, solid gold? None of them are. I'm absolutely sure of that. None of them are gold. Pound for the lot. Pound for the lot, so why wouldn't you? Nearly done. Nearly done. It's another quickie. 50p. This was a nice little bargain. I didn't expect the ladies to pay 50p. This is a full set of the Biff, Chip and Kipper early readers. Read with Biff, Chip and Kipper. First stories. At least I hope it's a full set. It certainly looks like it's going to be a full set. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I think, I think that's a full set. Um, and it was 50p. 50p. I did not expect the lady to say 50p when I picked that up. I picked it up and usually with Biff, Chiff and Chiff, Biff, Chiff, Chiff, Jiff, Biff and Mipper, Miff, Chiff and Fliffer, Fliffer, Fliff, Biff and Bliffer, Biff, Chiff and Kipper. Biff, Chip, Biff, Chip and Kipper. This is supposed to teach kids to read and I can't even say it. Usually the Biff, Chip and Kipper books are a little bit pricier. So when the lady said 50p I was very pleased. That was hard work. I bought myself a gonk. These were handmade. 
I can't remember where the lady said they were from. She said, oh, they're from another part of the country. I can't remember where she said. And she said, oh, my friend's making them. She lives up in so-and-so. And I told her to give me a load and I'd see if I could sell them down here. They're really cute. And I have mentioned, if you have been paying attention, then you know by now that I am going mega gonk this Christmas. We're going full gonk. And so I thought, that's an unusual gonk. I won't have, you know, I won't have any, any more like that. That'll be one on its own. And he was £2.50. She did have a whole box of them and they were all different designs. And I suppose I could have spent 20 quid and got loads. But I just got just got this one one gonk for my mega gonk christmas and then the last few bits are actually the best few bits of today i got a pair of tardis salt and pepper shakers they were a pound uh, they seem to sell on ebay for between 10 to 15 however this one has a little chip around the salt hole on that one um, it's been it's been coloured in. It's, you know the chip itself doesn't show, but I will obviously declare it. One of the stoppers appeared to be missing, but when I looked, got home and shook it, I realised the stopper was inside. So I've got the tweezers and I've got that out. So when I picked them up, it was, it was the idea that it would make a nice extra Christmas present for Debbie. But because they've got the little chip, I don't know about that. But yes, yeah, so they were at a pound, and then from the same seller, this caught my eye. Children are maggots. Now, if you know your role, doll, you will recognise that as a quote from Miss Trunchbull in uh, Matilda. And there we go on the bottom. It is from the Royal Shakespeare Company's version, th theatre show version of Matilda, Roald Dahl's Matilda the Musical. What is the school motto? Bambinatum est maggotum. Children are maggots. And this is a very nice pickup. It's very nice prices for this one on eBay. That was 50p and also 50p for this really lovely Nightmare Before Christmas Jack Skellington mug, which is um, a well over £20 mug. That's a very nice pickup as well. And that's it. That is the haul and all of the haul. I've warmed up slightly while I've been talking to you, thank goodness. I was so cold. That's it. That's everything. It's a small haul. It was worth going for and I expect the fresh air did me good and blah, blah, blah and all that stuff. I know it didn't feel like it at the time. Um, there will be a car boot haul next week because I will get up and I will go again. Blah, blah, blah. There, there, there will probably be a gap over Christmas at some point when there's no car boot, won't there? Anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it. As always, if you've seen anything in this haul that takes your fancy, you can drop me a line to the email address that is always in the description box of all of my videos. Please don't message me on eBay about anything that isn't on eBay because eBay don't like that at all and they give you a slap wristy for it. Thank you for joining me. I think I've said thank you for joining me three or four times. Let's say it again. Thank you for joining me. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs>